Another problem in Microsoft land. Did you know that Microsoft operating system has major problems including Windows 10? Did you know that Microsoft Office has major problems? Oh, I'll bet if you believe the shill information technology YouTube channels, they make it sound like everything is gravy and everything is great and it's a fairy tale and, and Microsoft land is perfect. Uh, I got news for you. All right, let me cut to the chase. Otro video para ti hoy. Este es Aaron Coney de Enacomputers.com. My OneNote will not open. As I try to open it, sometime I get a message that try a reset. I tried the reset, but nothing happened. When this individual wanted me to remotely connect and fix their issue, and I obliged. The first thing I noticed when I tried to open OneNote is that I received, well, the computer told me that their Office 365 subscription was not active. Well, guess what? That wasn't true. That was a lie because I verified it with the script command line. And I will get to that towards the end of this video. I will talk about how you can validate and verify whether or not your Office 365 subscription is active via the command line. Now, this was a real easy fix. I keep trying to tell you you don't need to overcome. I know the pale skinned Europeans love to overcomplicate things, and in my opinion, that is by design so that they can oppress the rest of the planet that is not pale skinned, and I will leave it at that. Keep it simple, stupid, and that also includes troubleshooting micro crap, micro shit, micro slop, wind blows operating system problems, including their crappy software. Now OneNote is free. You can download it for free, but it also comes bundled with a Microsoft Office 365 subscription. What fixed this issue was a quick repair. So all you have to do is browse into Add Remove Programs. These instructions were written for Microsoft Windows 10. Click on the link in the description box below that will take you to my website, my blog post on my website, and at computers.com with all the abstract shun. Go into Add Remove Programs, which is now known as Apps and Features. Fucking goddamn Microsoft's always changing the verbiage to fuck with your brain. Scroll down. I do not have Microsoft Office. I do not allow that junkware on any of my computers, but that's just me. Scroll down until you find Microsoft Office. We'll just pitulate and validate in my mentally ill brain that indeed Microsoft Edge is Microsoft Office. You will notice once you click on Microsoft Office that there will be a modify button. Click on the modify button and you should have two options. Those two options are either quick repair or online repair. I think it's productive that you choose the first option first. Quick repair, believe it or not, only takes a few minutes and that is what fixed this problem once I ran a quick repair on Microsoft Office 365 2016 edition I then attempted to open Microsoft OneNote and it worked and I no longer received that license is not active message however I wanted to validate and I wanted to verify whether or not that was a false positive so to finish up the portion of the video, the, the solution is all I did was run a quick repair. Now if a quick repair does not fix your problem with OneNote not working or OneNote not opening, try the online repair. Although caveat mTOR, when you continue to ver rely on Microsoft products, suffer that consequences. You know what I'm saying? Caveat mTOR, if you choose a online repair, hence the word online, you need an active internet connection and it will go out and talk to the national spy agency and it will 
download all of your OneNote notes to the National Spy Agency so the government military in the United States knows exactly what kind of notes you are documenting. You are documenting on a revolution and overthrowing the United States government military because they are nothing more than corrupt criminal crooks, including the puppet politicians. I mean, I digress back to this problem. But I know you Americans are too cowardly to take on a corrupt criminal cabal just because they're government. Government is nothing more than brainwashing propaganda. All right, let me digress back. The online repair can take a long fucking time. So that's where I would think it's more productive for you to choose the quick repair first. If the quick repair does not fix your problem, choose the online repair. And th this is a gold tip. Performing a repair on software on Microsoft Windows can potentially save you from a another quagmire if you remove microsoft office and you reinstall microsoft office well guess what all of your changes might have disappeared you know why because when i ran the quick repair i i opened up one note and guess what my client was able to quickly access their notes they didn't have to import they didn't have to scramble around looking for the backup or looking or resyncing no all of their settings were left alone for whatever reason and it was only exclusive to OneNote. When they tried to use Microsoft Word or Microsoft or Excel, they were not receiving the, you know, license not active message. Now let me talk about how I validated and verified whether or not the license was active or not. You're gonna need to know command line. So in Microsoft Windows 10 right click on the start menu if it works there are 10,000 to 100,000 keyword searches on Google every month for this term Microsoft Windows 10 start menu not working why is that right click and then choose command prompt admin say yes at the user account control you will be taken to the command prompt you want to do well you want to perform CD which means change directory dot dot change directory dot dot again then change directory capital this is case sensitive you have to type out the capital P or program and then capital F files whoops I misspelled it alright I do not have Microsoft Office I don't have an office folder you would type in CD space office it's not it's gonna error out because I never ever use Microsoft Office I know better than that too many problems too many headaches very expensive for all those problems. You can get Libre Office for free for fuck's sakes, and it's just sufficient. Well, I, I don't want to digress, but I don't want to talk about that. All right. So once you're in Microsoft Office, you want to make sure you're in the correct folder. Now, I noticed on this computer that either they had multiple versions of Microsoft Office installed, and I just made a video recently showing you how to install different multiple versions of office on the same computer you can install multiple versions of office on the same computer I noticed that they had under C program files office Microsoft Office they had three folders they had I think office 2000 excuse me office 12 office 14 office 16 they either had separate versions or they had been upgrading Office. That's just kind of semantical at this point. So then you would change directory into, you know, first it would be Microsoft Office, which does not exist. And then let's say the command did, whoops, let's say the command did work. You know what I'm saying? Then you would go into the, the correct folder. So the, in this case it would be Office. 16. Now you run, the, this is where you run the script. You must be in the correct folder in order, you can run the script, but if you're not in the correct version of Office, it's going to validate an incorrect version, or if you've been upgrading Office, the script might error out. It'll run, but it just, it, you know what I'm saying? So the script is on screen. You can copy and paste, or whatever you want to do, and then we will just enter it, and boom. C script space O S P P dot V B S space four slash stat D status. It's aired out because I don't have Microsoft Office installed. On your computer with Microsoft Office, 
it'll take a minute I would say around a minute depends on the speed of your computer yeah give it a minute or two and eventually it will tell you whether or not your Microsoft Office subscription 365 is active and on this client computer it did respond back and stipulate that the Office 365 subscription was active so the reason why I performed that is I didn't want to walk away I could have walked away after I ran the quick repair and boom they were able to enter one note and type in notes that will get sent to the National Spy Agency and called it a day no I noticed that they received that error and I always double check I learned many moons ago with these goddamn fucking Americans double check what you're doing is you're protecting yourself you're protecting your ass. These Americans are violent. They might shoot you. They might take you to court. They might garnish your wages. They whatever. They're they're Americans. Ninety eight percent are nothing more than predators. They're always trying to fuck you over, bend you over, sodomize you, you know, spy on you, whatever. Protect your ass. Double check, because what could happen is if I did not validate that their office subscription was active. I get a message a day later, an hour later, a day later, a week later. You motherfucker, Aaron. I'm getting the same error. You didn't fix the issue. I want a refund. I want a refund. I run a refund. Whereas all I had to do is spend an, an additional one minute to double check and verify and validate. And then I just protected myself. And the issue was fixed. And also, if I ran the validation script and it responded with, a message stating that their Microsoft Office subscription was not active, then I would I would have needed to further troubleshoot. Oh, are you sure your subscription is paid? Are you sure you've paid for this month or this year? Or you know, or it could be a glitch with Microsoft. Maybe the, there was a, there could be further problems with the software. So I always double check to make just to make sure. I like to you know not be lazy. And I like to completely solve problems and then go mentally ill and bankrupt. Adios!